Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. And uh, last time we were just kind of making our way up to the next area. And uh, we're just going to kind of continue doing that. There's not a whole lot to say, unfortunately. The, the beginning of this game is pretty boring. Although, now we kind of get our first real fight. So, this is kind of meant to be the test. So you're going to use Tidus to attack the fast one. Waka to attack the flyer. Ooh, we even got an overkill. And finally, we're going to use Thunder on the Water Flan. Now, we didn't get Yuna involved in that fight, so she's not going to gain any experience. But, it was still pretty cool to be able to see how you apply everything. And we actually got another weapon for Lulu. Let's uh, take a look here. Distill Mana. I don't actually know what that ability does off the top of my head. So, it's probably not that important anyway. Now... This is going to be, uh, actually no, the, uh, actually no, this isn't my last episode for today, but, um, I wanted to talk about this. I'm going to slow down the recording of this series just a smidge. I'm going to start potentially doing three videos a week instead of five in order to let myself do uh, a little bit more, um, outside of just doing Final Fantasy to keep the variety, um, a little bit bigger. So that way I don't bore myself on just doing Final Fantasy X. I, uh definitely can see that as being a concern not like it's i think going to be a too big of a problem anyway uh, because of how much i like this game i love this music by the way lady yuna don't forget me okay we'll miss you lady bet uh bleh, lady yuna come back soon so if we talk to all these people they'll actually give us some stuff which is kind of cool well she didn't i guess you're not going to give me anything either they're really leaving. Here, a farewell gift from the village. So that's one of these guys should give us a remedy. Oh, there's so many things I want to tell her, but seeing her there smiling. Uh, the sea's crawling with fiends to so give this to you now, okay? There's an ether, uh, a seeker's ring, and then three phoenix downs from somebody. Are you gonna give me anything? I won't cry, I won't cry, y'all. Yeah. I understand why some people didn't come down here, it's hard to say goodbye. May heaven's blessings be with her on her pilgrimage. Here, a gift from the temple to sanctify her departure. Seeker's ring. Let's go ahead and equip this thing on her. She is very, very uh, well set up here. An extra 10 HP or 10 percent HP. That's a pretty good setup. Oh, there's so many things I want to tell her. Yada yada yada. This should be the last item. Please watch over Lady Yuna. Here, have this. Three phoenix downs. Pretty useful. sad. I guess she was pretty well liked and said, I would love to see a game that's kind of like a prequel, which actually I still hope they'll make a game about that, but I don't know if that'll ever happen. And now we're off to kill Kapoor. This is an exciting time. Like, now the, the story is starting to, to kind of get into the swing of things, and things are actually progressing relatively rapidly, which is pretty nice. Titus, what are you doing? Uh-oh. Oh, you're on boob watch, aren't you? Uh-oh. Lulu saw that. I don't even know why he's doing this. Like, Yuna can probably see exactly, and in fact she does, see exactly what he's doing. So, I, that was kind of ridiculous. Oh, and look at that. He dropped the binoculars. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't actually. Yeah, I'm 
All right, so we can actually do, sorry, I was looking at the guide. We can actually do a little bit of exploring in here um, before we get started with the main cutscene. We actually want to be really careful. Yeah, filthy, filthy. These won't sell. All me names, not a walker. Don't look like you got much money either. I've no business with you. Add me way. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Awaka the 23rd. Merchant extraordinaire. Awaka the who? Don't know me? Well, not many do. Not yet. So this is Awaka. He is kind of important to the story. Uh, I wouldn't say he's like dramatically Someday. important. Story. Uh, I wouldn't say he's like dramatically important. Say, lad, you wouldn't have a bit of gill to lend. <laughs> so, yes, we're gonna go ahead and give him as much as we can. So in this case, we're just gonna go ahead and give him the full fifteen ninety-two because there's not really much else we can do with it anyway. And he really isn't going to. He isn't really going to have anything available that we care about for a while, but if you continue to donate money to him, his prices will be cheaper. What? Check out what the power the heck room. Is that? What, what the heck is what? What is this place? The power room, like it says on the door. Yeah, but why the big birds? What's so strange about chocobo power? Chocobos? Those are chocobos? What? You've never seen a chocobo? What kind of backwater island did you come from, anyway? Ooh, hmm. ow. <laughs> Miracles and oddities were starting to become daily routine on this trip. Well, if we come down here, we don't want to miss this. Here's Albed Primer Volume 3. The secrets of the Albed language are revealed. L goes to C. And that's basically all we came in here for. If we come over here to this next room, we can pick up a couple extra things, though. Here's a guy. Uh, I've gotten seasick. I think I'm in a hurl. If we come over here. He keeps. He seems real sick, y'all. Yeah. I'm hiding over here because I'm going get, <laughs> to get sick if I keep watching him. So there's um, a chest here which should have a remedy. Yes, and it does. Now, this right here is interesting. So let's take a look at our inventory here for a second. So we've got 17 potions. This little briefcase right here, if we kick this thing, we get a potion. And it'll actually max out when you get 20 potions. So there's another one, and if we try to kick it, nothing will happen. So this is a free way to get a bunch of potions. Which is part of the reason I didn't buy any potions earlier. So we'll go ahead and save one more time here. And we actually, this is kind of an awkward spot, oops, only because we're about to get into something that's a little bit tricky um, in terms of like how I'm going to time the length of this video, but I'm going to go ahead and get started with it. We're going to actually have, I would say, like our, our, our first major boss. So Word is, let's, uh, let's go ahead and just get into it. Blood. I heard she's Lord Braska's daughter. You don't say. Lord Braska's daughter? Hmm. So I wonder. Summoner's confident smile is always a great encouragement to us. And of course he's not gonna say anything. What about you, Waka? So is Yuna's father famous or something? She's the daughter of High Summoner Braska. You saw his statue at the temple. Lord Braska defeated Sin ten years ago. Yuna's the heir to a great legacy. It's tough <sighs> when your father's famous. Huh? Walker's a bit lacking in the imagination department. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lulu. I'll keep that in mind. And Waka is just completely clueless. Now we can go ahead and talk to her. So I actually want to make sure that I've got 
equipment maxed out here. I know I was just looking at this stuff very recently, but I just want to make sure that, you know, we do have the best gear that we can get here. Uh, okay, yeah, we're, we're in good spot. Let's go ahead and actually do the spear grid real quick. Now, Lulu, if I recall, is this path, which yes it is. So we'll just go ahead and move her down here and we'll go ahead and get this mana upgrade. Of course, that's super important for her since basically her whole thing is that she is the magic user. So <clears throat> we definitely want to keep that going. We also want to make sure that she uh, continues to have... Let's see, actually, where do we want to go here? Okay, so we do want to go this way. Oops. We do want to go this way. Oops. Uh, it's important that we make sure that she keeps her magic and her mana uh, upgraded quite a lot. So now Null Frost. These spells are a little bit useless, honestly. I, I, I just don't use them that much, but I am going to pick them up and at least show them off at some point, because there is a boss fight much later on where they are a little bit useful. I don't know what my air conditioner keeps doing. In case you didn't know, I'm living in a little studio apartment for the summer right now for my Come internship. In. It's nice. And this freaking air conditioner keeps turning off and back on. And I don't know if you can hear it or not. If you can, I apologize. But, oh my god, it's a nightmare trying to keep this thing cool. This this little apartment that I'm in, apartment that I'm in. It is, it is so hard to keep this place cooled down to a temperature that's reasonable. It's set to 70 right now. But any cooler than that, and it gets really kind of almost unbearable, any warmer than that, and it's really, really hot. So it's kind of awful. 70 is like the most neutral I can get in here right now. Waka. Waka doesn't believe me at all. But I believe you. Huh? I've heard in Xanarkin... There is a great stadium, all lit up, even at night. Huh? Great Blitzball tournaments are held there, and the stands are always full. How do you know that? A man named Jack told me. He was my father's guardian. Jack. Jack. Piece of just realization. My father. His name is Jack. Amazing! You know, our meeting like this must be the blessing of Yevon. Sounds like him, but it can't be him. Why not? My old man, he died. Ten years ago, off the coast of Xanarkin. Sorry. He went out to sea for training one day and never came back. And no one's seen him since then. Why, that's the day that Jack huh? came to Spira. But uh... it's true, I first met Jack ten years and three months ago. I remember that was the day my father left. The date fits, doesn't it? The... the <laughs> yeah, but how would he get here? That's a lot. I don't even remember her ever... Yeah, I don't remember her ever saying that before. Are you not? Hmm. Here we go. Alright, things are about to get a little bit crazy here. Oh boy, you know it's real serious when we get into FM.
course, this this boss fight's a little bit ridiculous what because do you think you're doing? Stick a harpoon in him and we'll all get dragged it's not really a good Zeta's portrayal of Sin. He, he's kind of a much more killed. badass kind of Forgive villain us, than the way they're trying to portray him here. And the way they're trying to portray him here. Wait! Oh boy! And here we go. So we're about to fight Sin. Oh boy, this is scary. So we're actually only fighting the Finn, which is a little funny. This fight is uh, very easy as well. This is not a very hard fight at all. It's uh, also, Titus' hair looks so gray there. Now, we get to fight these Sin Scales again, and there's actually a little trick to, to kill these guys, but you can actually just farm them and get experience off them as much as you want, actually. But uh, we're going to have to check that out next time. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Catch you guys next time.